pretty revolutionary. And, you know, I, I want to just say one thing to you, and that's the word interactive. Surely we've been making interactive games for 20 years, haven't we? Well, 30 years. Well, no, I don't think we have. Because that thing in our hands, that thing that's evolved in our hands, it got more and more complex, it got more and more buttons, actually has been the biggest barrier to what we want to create. Because what we want to create is a connection to our worlds. And that's what I believe Natal does. And what, if you leave with uh, anything today, then leave with this thought. What designers and what this industry does with Natal will change the landscape of games that we play. Anyway, we've been playing around with it at Lionhead for a few months now. And a week ago, a film crew came out and filmed uh, this video. Why don't we take a look at it now? Science fiction writers, filmmakers, they haven't imagined what we're able to do today. We've been experimenting with something here. I'd like you to meet a boy called Milo. He's a character that can recognize us, he can recognize our faces, he can recognize our voices, he can recognize emotions in us. And this is Claire, she's going to introduce you to Milo. Hi, Milo, how are you doing? Hi, Claire, you okay? Actually, I'm a bit nervous. You? Nervous? I don't believe it. This is the first time that thousands of people are going to see this. Thousands of people? Here we're seeing Claire being recognised. And the emotion in Claire's voice being recognised. And that emotion reflecting in Milo's face. Those are all being seen for the first time. So listen, I was thinking today you should let me beat you at football again. That is if you finished your homework. You have finished your school project. What okay? happened there is that Claire knew Milo so well, she knew when he was worried about yet. something. The head was down, he wasn't looking at the camera so much, and this is about you meeting a character, a person. Well, why don't I help you with yours? Then yours will be brilliant. Hmm. All right. I could just try to catch some fish, draw some pictures in my journal. Maybe I'll do OK this time. I think that's a good idea. Lift off! Oh, oh. <sighs> Don't know till I try, do I? Exactly. See? I've got everything we need. Well, great. Let's get started, then. You've got to put these goggles on. Goggles? Put them on like this. OK. What? Like that? Claire has been thrown a pair of goggles. Notice what she did. This wasn't acted. She felt the need to reach down for those goggles. Now, everybody, every single person that has experienced this reaches down because they feel so connected to Milo's world. Cool. So what are we doing? Do I have to stand at the edge? Go on. Put your hands in. It's not too cold. Ha! I bet the fish think you're a monster. Cheeky. <laughs> Swish the water about a bit. <laughs> See if you can touch a fish. There Claire is, in Milo's world. She's in that pond. All right. Every hand movement is being recognised. Being able to touch fish, being able to swish the water with her hand. Everyone who's experienced it, the hairs are standing up on the back of their head. Now, what's about to happen is some real magic. Well, you're good at drawing. They're only fish, but they're trickier than you think. Well, here, I'll have a go. Right. I'm going to do a body and a tail, the big fin and a smiley face. There we go. What do you think? Look at what just happened. Orange. Claire That's drew a picture on a piece of paper. The piece of paper was held up to Milo. Natal recognised the piece of paper, scanned the piece of paper in. Milo looked at that piece of paper, recognised the shape, recognised the colour and able to get on with his project. This is true technology that science fiction has not even written about. And this works today. Now. I'm here with Microsoft at the Standard in downtown LA. Now, earlier today, they announced a bunch of new titles 
and the very exciting Project Atal. So I'm going to talk with a couple people in the gaming industry and see what they have to say.